PPC Building Dreams, building it right, right from the start. Today our focus will be on plastering. Plastering may seem like a straightforward job, but it's actually a technical process that needs to be given special attention. Plaster is a mixture made of cement, sand and water. The correct sand will determine the finish. Plaster is used as a decorative coating on brickwork, concrete or virtually any solid surface. I'm with Vincent to give a few guidelines to consider when plastering. Hi Vince, how are you doing today? Fine on yourself, Mugwadi. Fine, thanks. I understand the preparation of the surface to be plastered is critical. What are the key determining factors for achieving the perfect plaster finish? Mugwadi, the art of preparing and finishing the surface not only depends on the correct mix design, but on the methods used ensuring bonding and durability. Taking into consideration whether the plaster is being applied to an internal or external surface, or porous or non-porous surface. And what's the other determining factor? The success of the finish lies with an experienced plasterer. PPC cement added to washed, clean, graded, fine sand can be used as a plaster to achieve a variety of colors, finishes and textures. Can plaster be applied to any material as coating? Yes, it can. But materials such as concrete, reverse side of face bricks, etc. cannot easily receive a coating of plaster. If appropriate preparation is not undertaken, Plaster applied to such surfaces will eventually delaminate, therefore causing unsightly defects to the finished surfaces. How can plaster be mixed to ensure bonding on non-absorbent materials? To ensure bonding on non-absorbent materials, a coarse sand combined with cement and water is applied as a slush to ensure adequate bonding and left to dry before the final plaster is applied. There's a variety of proprietary products on the market to finish the surface to an aesthetically pleasing, finely skimmed surface. This is entirely the choice of the owner and the architect. With cementitous products, care must be taken to cure the surface sufficiently to eliminate plastic shrinkage cracks, especially when exposed to adverse weather conditions. Any flaws or blemishes in the plaster will manifest itself in the final paint finish. Which techniques are used to make decorative finishes? Skillful plastering can achieve a variety of decorative finishes, namely scratch, wood float, steel trowel, brush and pattern finished, depending on choice. When plastering a surface across different materials, such as concrete, masonry or damp proof course, care must be taken to demarcate the different underlying materials, as these have different expansions and contraction properties. How is this achieved? This is performed by cutting a crack inducer or V-joint with a jointing tool to separate these elements, eliminating unsightly random cracking. Ensure that the plaster is not continuous across the line of damp proof course. Mix only as much plaster as to be used in two hours. Covering the mix to prevent drying is also recommended. After two hours, if the mix becomes too stiff to be used, it should be discarded and fresh mix made. Do not add water to stiff mix to regain workability, as this will reduce the strength. Never add dry cement to the plastered surface to accelerate the application process, as this causes unsightly blemishes. Are there any tips you'd like to share with other builders about plastering? Definitely. When sequencing building activities, it is highly recommended that the roof is clad before plastering starts. Never work in direct sun. Plastering should be protected from the sun and drying winds. If it is necessary to plaster walls exposed to the sun, especially in hot or windy conditions, special curing precautions will be needed to protect the plaster, to reduce the risk of cracks in the plaster and to ensure that the plaster gains the required strength. Poor plaster can detract from the overall appeal of the house. This is why it is important to get the art of preparing and finishing the wall surface right with the use of a skilled plaster to achieve an aesthetically pleasing finish on the surfaces. Plaster made by using PPC bot some cement will finish the interior and exterior walls of your dream house, giving them a hard, durable and long-lasting surface. Remember, don't settle for an R cement. Ask for the tried and tested one, the one as strong as an elephant. Ask for PPC cement.